नमस्ते गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक दिस रैक एंड पिनियन क्रैंकवेट मैकेनिज्म इन सोलवर्क सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आई एम इन असेंबली मोड सो फर्स्ट गो टू द टूल बॉक्स क्लिक ऑन एन असाइनमेंट ट्रिक क्लिक ऑन पावर ट्रांसमिशन एंड क्लिक ऑन गियर्स सो फर्स्ट सेलेक्ट द स्पर गियर मेक श्योर दैट यू रिमेंबर इट्स नंबर ऑफ टीथ एंड मॉड्यूल सो मॉड्यूल इज 1 एंड नंबर ऑफ टीथ इज 25 वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ऑन मेट्स क्लिक ओके आफ्टर दैट क्लोज दिस नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस रैक है and its module is also, will be also with the same uh 180 length is fine close this oh sorry delete this uh, I, basically i forget to uh, set the width so set face width to 10 width is this distance okay click okay now what i am going to do is as you can see so first thing that i'm going to show you if i select this gear and try to move it you see uh, the selected component is fixed it cannot move so to move it right click on this part click on float so now you can see i can move it easily now i have to define mates so if you don't define the mates correctly you will not get the proper animation as per your requirement so watch carefully what i'm going to do so first like this go to the mates select the top plane click okay now go to the advanced mates click on symmetric select the plane so select the front plane click on here select these two faces you see my gear is exactly between the plane next step is click on width so select the two face and select this rack So you see, it's exactly right there. That's I what I want. Now next step is adjusting the gear. So I think this is fine. So what I'm going to do is right click, on, uh, go to the mechanical, click on rack and pinion, select the uh, rack, rack for select, select this edge, for pinion select this. Now a question asking. the pitch diameter so pitch diameter is 25 how i know that is 25 so remember when i import this gear i said hey uh, remember this module and number of teeth so the module of this teeth is 1 and number of teeth on this gear is 25 so module is d by t so uh, from that we get the pitch value that is 25 mm okay and click on reverse click okay so if i try to Okay, currently I'm not able to move it. Uh, before I do anything else, uh, right-click on this rack and pin it. Click on suppress and select this face. Press Ctrl plus eight. Yeah, it's correctly aligned. Now right click on this face click on fix after that right click on this click on move so you can see my gear is okay i am not still getting the correct animation or motion so what i can do right click on it go to the features and check the reverse uh click okay uh select select this uh, first right click on it click on suppress Uh, right click on rack click on float and move this to little forward direction to correctly align right click on it fix right click on it and suppress so if i try to move it now it now you can see it is correctly working and this is basically what i want so what i will do right now is that uh i will basically add to I, i will add basically crank thing okay so go here click on new part select the front plane uh select like this up to here and here as well Ten mm. 
10 mm 90 mm uh, make sure that the distance is 5 mm or oh, extrude basically 5 mm after that exit this addition component mode click on here click on new parts like the front plane again mm ten mm ten mm and this is eight mm go to the features extrude five mm click exit this as a component mode Click OK, select this face and this face. Click OK. Select this face and go here, select the top plane and click OK. Select this face. Select this face. Click OK. Select this face and this face on side. Okay, this is also already concentric, I guess. So if I try to rotate it, okay. Uh, select this part, yes, right click on it and delete this face. Select this face, this face, click OK. Select this face and this face, make it concentric, click OK. It is saying that it will going to break some mate, so let's see what kind of uh, mate it is saying to break box. Select this and we will see all the mates. So this one is concentric, fine. This one is concentric, but it is. I guess I choose the wrong one. So right click on it, click on here. Uh, for a second, let's clear it. Select this face and this face. Okay, it's fine now. Click OK. Now, if I try to move it, you can see that this part is moving. I don't want that this axis move. So, what I can do? So, I can use some uh, mates to make it fix. Okay. So let's see how and how will I will do. So first let's bring this distance, go to the mates, select this and select the right plane. Click on distance. Enter the value of 175. Click OK. Close it. So if I try to rotate it. Okay, I still have some issues. So what I can do, select this face, go here, select this face, click on distance, enter the value of 5 mm. Click OK. So if I try to rotate it, you can see it's working quite great. So now how to do animation? So animation is quite easy. Go to the motion study. Uh, let's delete this one. I will make from scratch. So right click, click on create new motion study. I move this time to zero. Go to the motor. Select this face. Uh, reverse direction. Distance. Enter the value of 360 degree. The starting time is zero. And the, to uh, the total length of animation is five seconds. Click OK. Go here and increase the FPS to 30. Click OK. If I click on calculate, you can see the animation. Now it's a lot smoother now. Uh, right click on it. Uh, 
Oh, what? Let it keep on time. I think that's fine for our animation. So if I click on play. So this is how we can make this animation. Uh, press F to fix uh, to fix on the whole screen. One more thing that I have to do is uh, right click on orientation, click on disable playback. Let's move it aside. Click on play. So that's how you can make this animation. So I hope you learned something from new. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. And please guys make sure that you check out my new YouTube channels. Uh, you will love it. And it will also help me to grow and share my knowledge. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.